Before the video, I just want to say a big thank you to Surfshack VPN for sponsoring this video and for supporting my travels. Surfshack VPN has been so helpful in so many ways. Being in Beijing, China, I can't access Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Netflix, Gmail, you name it. I can't even access Couchsurfing to find a place to stay. I literally change my location to Manchester, United Kingdom, and then I can access everything again. Another benefit, wherever I am in the world, I can choose a country of my choice to connect to to get cheaper travel prices. For example, if I'm in the UK but want to book a flight to or from India, I'll then go on Surfshark, I'll change my destination to say Mumbai, India, and then I will look for a flight on an Indian website rather than a British website, and that way it always works out cheaper. Lastly, in between these challenges, I love a good Netflix binge on my laptop, but there's so many more films on US Netflix than there is on the UK Netflix. If you type in Marvel on the UK Netflix, only a few films come up. If you then go on Surfshark, change your location to say Chicago, United States, then you go on the US Netflix, type in Marvel, and so many more films come up that you wouldn't normally get to watch, as you can see. You can get Surfshark VPN with the link in description. If you use promo code SIMON, you get 83% off and one extra month for free. Right, Beijing with no money. Morning, we're in Beijing, China. Obviously, I've just got back from North Korea. I'm still processing that trip. It was so surreal. I've come back to Beijing to fly back to Manchester, and obviously, because I've never been here properly before, I thought I'd spend some time here and do a no money challenge. So I thought I'd ask someone to join me. How's it going, guys? Mr. Colin of Broadcast. So if you don't already know Colin, Colin's got a YouTube channel. He does fake markets, bargains. So I felt like this was a good match. You know, we both try to get things for the cheapest price. You obviously try to get things for no price. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it would be really fun to experience this with you and see how you do your thing in 24 hours. Colin doesn't know what he's let himself in for. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's funny because it's like, it sounds like, oh, 24 hours, I can do that. But that's literally 24 hours. You might not drink water, you might not eat food, you might not even have to place to stay. So yeah. I'm ready to see what this is all about. We've also made a video doing a fake market on Colin's channel. Feel free to head over there, check that out. I've seen Colin's videos for ages, the quality. Right, so should we get the show on the road? Let's go. I'm excited. Let's do it. So Beijing, this is technically my third time here. The first time was obviously when I did the seven wonders of the world in seven days. The second time was like a really short stop before I went into North Korea. And then this is the third time. So this is the first time that I'm really seeing it. So I haven't got a clue about the place to be honest. And I certainly don't know my way around. But you've done videos in China. Yeah, I've actually lived in China for about two years. Two years? Yeah. I didn't realize you lived here. Oh yeah, I lived in like the mainland. I've lived in Beijing maybe about a month. Fair However, play. I haven't really explored Beijing at all. So Really? Yeah. So do you speak a little bit of Chinese? A little bit. Do you? Yeah, yeah. All I know is, oh, <laughs> Thank you. The plan for the day is no plan, as per usual. We're just going to see where the day takes us. But first, I want to go to Tiananmen Square, obviously being in Beijing. Yeah, and that's like the biggest attraction here. Is it? Yeah. Right, we're just coming to the entrance now. Yeah. Yeah. All good. Shishini. Oh wow, what's going on here? And we've made it to Tiananmen Square. Bit crazy, you needed passports and stuff yeah. to get in. This is it. I find it mad how all these places have the pictures of the leader on it. The same in North Korea. Can you imagine if all the buildings in the UK had pictures of Boris Johnson all over them? <laughs> or like Trump in America. Yeah. Tell you what, this place is huge. Apparently it's where the emperor used to live. I didn't know that, did you? I had no idea. It looks a nice place, but don't get me wrong, I don't think there's too much to do here. Just walk? Yeah, just walk and take in the sights. I'm already getting a bit peckish here. Peckish? <laughs> 
You don't know what peckish is? No. It's a British slang for hungry. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Are you getting a bit peckish? I'm getting a little bit peckish, yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. This is the exit, right? It's kind of weird because like to get in it was such like guarded yeah. by security, but look at this. And that's Tiananmen Square then. Right, I want to get some food now. Yeah, I'm sorry. Where do you start with getting food in Beijing? Not a lot of people speak English. Where well, you're the expert at, isn't it? <laughs> well, there's always the Mackey's trick. What's that? You don't know the Mackey's trick? I don't know the Mackey's trick. The Mackey's trick's easy, so we don't want to give you the easy way. Right, I'm thinking typically five-star hotels will have snacks, like when you walk in, do you get me? So yeah, in the yeah. morning, they'll have coffees, they'll have oh, drinks yeah, and yeah. stuff. Definitely. So I reckon we visit a few hotels and basically see if they've got some food. With Beijing being like an expensive place, I feel like five-star hotels will have free snacks yeah, when sense. people come in. Let's try a few hotels. Right, first one now. Hi, how are you? Do you have like snacks and things like that or? Uh, yes. Okay. Maybe. Is this free wine? Free wine. No, we don't have free wine. Ah, okay, okay. no problem. No luck in that one. Let's try a few more. Hi, how are you? Is the fruit free? The fruit is free. Ah, no, 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 no. The fruit. Fruit. The fruit. Okay. Ten yuan. It's ten yuan. Yeah. Ah, okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay, this is not looking too good. We're looking for free food, that's why. <laughs> What's the kind of food? Uh? Free food. Free? Don't need to pay. <laughs> Don't need to pay, yeah, Really, yeah. we are. Where, do you know? Do you know? <laughs> Any tips on how to get free food in Beijing? I don't know where. You don't know where? <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Your English is very good, by the way. Thank you. Very good. Uh, Bye. There's nothing in here, is there? We're not having much luck here, are we? No, and these are like upscale, like. I know they're all five star. Yeah, this looks posh. This must have something. <laughs> Jesus, look at the state of this place. It's like a Vegas hotel. There's nothing here either, is there? Oh no, damn. You'd I think there'd be something, wouldn't you? Yeah, usually places have food. We're definitely not giving up though. I'm not giving up. There has to be somewhere in this town. There's gotta to be a five star hotel that's got something complimentary. Yeah. Oh yeah, have we got anything here? Is it possible to get some cookies? Oh, sorry, I'm speaking. Ah, it's fine, no problem. Sure, sure. Oh yeah, we've got juice here as well. Does this cost money? Yes. Oh, and how much are the cookies? Five yen. Five yen for one? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, thank you. This is a disaster, this. First hotel with snacks, they cost money. I'll be honest, I can't be bothered going to another hotel. No, uh, neither can I. This is a nice place, they might have a spa. Should we go and check? Yeah, I might as well. To be fair, I could do with a chill after all that walking. Yeah. Just try and find the lift. Where are the lifts? Oh, yeah, here they are. Floor three, spa, pool and gym. Boom! It lets you click it as well without the key card. When we get in here, just let me do the talking and then we'll see what's what. There's a full room of people. Hi, how are you? Um, do you have swimming pool here and different yes, things? Yes. Okay, and um, which way is that? Uh, this way to see you shower on. Ah, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, our swimming pool, uh, uh, change room opens at 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Till 10 p.m. Sauna room, steam room. Ah, the sauna and steam rooms in there. Oh, brilliant. Colin loves a sauna and steam room. So you've got swimming pool. Water's free. Water's free. Oh, thank you. Oh, jacuzzi. Oh, lovely. We love a good jacuzzi. So we'll just go to the changing room now, if that's okay. Ah, thank you very much for your help. Mate, this looks posh. This is nice, this, isn't it? Goes further back down here. Oh, winner, winner. Lockers, hair dryer, shaving foam. What else we got? Clean my ears. <laughs> Happy days. Are you ready for a Simon Wilson spa experience, mate? Yeah, I am. You enjoying yourself over there, mate? This is nice, but it's super humid in here. It's hot, isn't yeah. it? How awesome would it be if we could sleep here? We still need to sort that out, you know. We haven't even looked yet, mate. It's getting yeah. on. Should we make a move now and have a think? Yeah, I think so. Right, we just need to get out of here now. Yeah. They were pretty cool coming in, though, so I don't think there'll be a problem. Thank you. Thank you, bye. 
and we're out. How was your first bar experience? It was good, it was good. Nobody said anything. It was Proper yeah. chill place, that, wasn't it? Plus got some free water out of it, too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The only problem is now, and we've not sorted anywhere to sleep. So what I reckon is, we find another hotel, and then just go through Facebook. Duh, okay, duh, okay, go okay. through everything, and just find somewhere to stay tonight. Sounds good. All right, let's find somewhere. Yeah. Starving. Starving, man. No, you gotta go starving. Starving. I'm starving. Starving. <laughs> Right, we've just come out of the hotel. Long story short, we have no luck. I've tried absolutely everything. Couch surfing, Facebook groups, Colin tried his charm on Tinder. <laughs> Obviously the American charm doesn't work in I Beijing. Guess not, right? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair though, couch surfing was actually quite good. There was a lot of options there. Obviously just left it too late with trying to find somewhere tonight. So we could be in for a long night, mate. <laughs> That's where it seems like it's heading, yes. <laughs> While we were trying to find somewhere to stay, Colin actually mentioned about foreigners drink for free in Beijing. I don't know if you want to explain. Yeah, so basically what happens is, is it's good for business if you have foreigners at your club drinking. The Chinese people will be like, oh, why do all the foreigners want to drink there? Let's is that go check why? it out. Sounds kind of weird, right? But yeah. that's just how it is and that's mate, just how they view it. Well, business. if it's free drinks, mate, I'm yeah. not complaining. <laughs> Plan now is we're going to go to a club where we're going to try and find a club that is going to allow us to get in and have free drinks. What do you reckon of the chances? It's very common in like the smaller cities. Have I, you ever done it in Beijing? I have done it in Beijing. I just don't remember where it was. Yeah, we'll find somewhere anyway. Yeah, I think we'll give it a go. We'll if go we... to the party street where yeah. all the clubs are and we'll just each door. Yeah, cool, and just try it out. Yeah. The party district that we're going to is like what, over an hour away? If we walk, yeah. But we're not going to walk because what we're going to do is we are going to take a bike. So in Beijing, there are loads of these bikes. They're like ride share bikes, so they've all got locks on. But as you can see, there is loads all down there and all down there. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a faulty bike that hasn't got a lock on it. There's got to be one, isn't there? Like, I've done it before already. Like. Have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Locked, 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 locked. No luck at all, like, we're going to try somewhere else. Is this one good? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it? No, I don't think so. Well, mate, that's one, so one, take that. It rides pretty well, mine. It's the lack of back brake. One down, one to go. Colin's just gone on the other side of the road to basically double our chances of trying to find a bike. From walking around Beijing today, I've realized how big this city actually is. It's probably one of the biggest cities I've ever been to, if not the biggest. Well, it feels like that anyway. Found another one right up here. Other side of the street? Yeah, this side over here. It goes like this, but it's just broken, so. Happy days. Does it work all right, yeah? I think so, yeah. This bike is horrendous. I have not rode a bike in ages, mate. We got our transport. Anything's achievable, mate. Plan now, we're off to the drinking district. How far is it from here, Carl? It's like a 10 minute bike ride. 10 minute bike ride. I didn't think I'd be cycling around Beijing tonight. There's a club there. Yeah. Should we give this a go then? Like we just go up and be like, do foreigners drink free? <laughs> Let's just go and have a walk and see what's what. So apparently there's loads of clubs around here, so we're just going to try them out and see if we have any luck. Um, how much is it to go in? Free go in. Free, go in. free to go in? Yeah. Uh, what about drink? Open bar 50, one person, all next free drink. Okay, so free to go in. Okay, thank you. Right, do we need these? This is open bar. Ah, okay, okay, no problem, thank you. Bit of a mad club that, wasn't it? The music in there, what would you call it? Oh, it was that? on point. It almost felt like you were in like this German underground club. Yeah, 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 yeah. The... Do they go hard in China? Oh, like every club is like this. It wasn't that busy in there, but the Chinese sure do like a good night out. Right, the time now is 11 minutes past one in the morning, and we have absolutely nowhere to sleep. What do you fancy, mate? What are our options, more importantly? Well, I mean, the most obvious one is a park. We could Maybe do a, a park. hotel or something. A hotel's a good shout. Um, I reckon we Google hotels fine. and see what's around here. So where that blue dot, all these hotels are around. The closest one is this one. It's a five-star hotel and it's two minutes walk. You're looking knackered, mate. <laughs> yeah. 
Should we give this a whirl then? Let's go, let's go. What's that? Keep calm and have a free lobster on a Monday. Why didn't we do this challenge on a Monday? Right, I think this is it here now. The Chow Hotel. It looks nice. Right, plan with this one then, mate. We'll just go in and act as if we're staying there. Oh, Jesus, this does look posh. Should we just go straight up the stairs? Yeah, those stairs look nice. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, let's go up the stairs. There's one guy on the reception down there, but he hasn't even said anything. He didn't even look up. Ah, Ni Hao. Ah, this one. Oh, uh, yeah, I use this one, yeah. Oh, wow. Did the toilet seat just open? This is high tech. Rear soft rear, front wide, dryer, hand sanitizing. I tell you what, this is one posh toilet. You don't have these toilets in Wales, let me tell you. Right, I need to go and find Colin. Ah, shit, shit. Do you see how posh the toilet was? As soon as you walk in, eh? Mate, I know it opens when you come <laughs> through the door. Yeah, what's this? Members only. I'll come with you. This is posh. I think this is just the breakfast area here. All the tables are set up. Right, I think we're just gonna go and sit down over here. What? Oh God, there's someone sleeping there. If he's sleeping there, we'll sleep here. <laughs> right, we've just sat down. We've got a big table, two couches. There's a guy sleeping on a couch like three tables back. Yeah, I think there's like a table between us. This is kind of sketchy. What do you reckon, Jack will be sound? We gotta take the chance. Like, we'll soon find out. Yeah. Mate, you don't look happy about sleeping on that couch. Actually, it's better than I thought. I kind of figured it would be in like a park or something. <laughs> Mate, I don't do parks. I do five-star hotels. This is, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> this couch is actually quite comfy. I've had better, mate, but I've definitely had worse. The floor outside Louis Vuitton in Milan is definitely better than that. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get some shut eye. Yeah, it's actually pretty comfortable to be honest. Mate, at least I've put a roof over your head tonight. Thank you for taking care of me. Right, we're gonna hit the deck. The time now is 1.48 in the morning. I think we'll be sound here. Good. Right, let's see how much sleep we get. Good night. Ugh, morning. We've just been woken up by lovely piano music. How was your sleep? Good until it turned on and startled me. The time now is 7.24 in the morning. We managed to have a few hours, so not too bad. There's some that I haven't even had any sleep on. Really? Yeah. This like, must be like a blessing then. Yeah. And at least you can actually lie down flat on here. You have officially, mate, done 24 hours in Beijing with no money. How does that feel? <laughs> I feel accomplished. Next time, three days, right? We'll do three days next time for sure. Before I end the vlog, I just want to give my thoughts on Beijing. It's quite a modern city. What would you say, mate? Gets a bad reputation in the news, obviously, for like pollution and stuff, but outside of pollution, Beijing's a nice city. It's not as busy as you'd think. Like, I thought it would just be crazy busy, and it is busy because it's a city, but it's not as busy as a lot of places. I wouldn't say it's any busier than London. Right, yeah, I feel like Beijing's more spread out than. Yeah, it's like you know, bigger, isn't it? Yeah. On that note, it is a huge city, isn't it? Like, just walking yesterday and going on the bikes and stuff, you couldn't walk around the city. It's been nice to actually spend some time here. Obviously, we're doing the Seven Wonders. I came and went, so I'm glad I've actually, like, stayed here now and explored it a bit. I wonder if that guy is still sleeping. Oh, let's go check. Yeah. He's gone. He's gone. Probably had the kitchen duties this morning. The piano probably woke him up yeah. as well. Make sure to go and check Colin's channel out. We did a video on his channel about the fake market, which is new to me, it's so interesting. So that wraps up Beijing with no money for 24 hours. Any last words, mate? Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Just before you go, as I mentioned at the start, you can download Surfshark VPN with the link in the description. If you enter promo code SIMON, you get 83% off and one month extra for free.